what's up guys and welcome back to another show video today we are hopping into the 13th episode of the fourth season of smallville recruit uh last time oh rest in peace alicia so so sad um i did not think they were going to kill her off like that like that was insane how quickly they just were like done with her character uh because she was being framed for hurting Lana and Jason and everybody was thinking that she was doing it so I felt really bad for her because of course people would suspect her but I just felt bad and then Clark you know the last conversation they actually had was um you know talking about how like he didn't trust and he suspected her of you know hurting people and it just it sucked and she wanted to reveal um we, she wanted Clark to reveal his powers so that maybe if people knew that he had powers that they wouldn't judge her so quickly. It makes sense in my head. I mean, I understand where she's coming from, but obviously Clark wasn't going to do that. But through all the tragedy of losing Alicia, a new development did happen. Chloe knows! Finally, we have another person in the Knowing Clark Secret Club. So... That was really fun. That was awesome to see. And I'm really excited to see kind of where the show goes from here now that Chloe knows. And I'm wondering, like, how long it's going to take for Clark to figure it out. So, uh, yeah, uh, as sad as I am about Alicia, because I thought her and Clark had great chemistry. It's very sad. I was hoping that maybe she would be, like, maybe the second half of the season, like, Clark's girlfriend for the second half of this season. Unfortunately, that did not happen, but uh, we'll move forward. We're going to push forward and see where the show goes from here. So if you want to see my full reaction to this episode or any of the past episodes, head on over to my Patreon page. The link is in the description below, or you can hang out right here on YouTube. Just be sure to take 30 seconds to like, comment, and subscribe. So without further ado, here we go. We are hopping into the 13th episode of the fourth season of Smallville Recruit. Let's go. She's gonna drink you under the table. What is she wearing? She's wearing pajamas to a party. My oh, dude. Oh no, you gotta keep that down, dude. Damn, girl. Wait. Hey, it's Luke. All right. Yeah, Louis. Woo. Bloody slippers! Oh, this outfit. <laughs> Girl, I've been there. We've been there. Come on, baby, give me some. Yeah, right. <laughs> she just whipped that guy's ass. Yeah, I'd be like, who is this? My head is killing me. Go away. Oh, shit! Last night with Dave Cooper. The boy is paralyzed. What? You're under arrest. What the hell? Lois? Clark, I don't want to lie to you. Chris that Carmack. Is there it is. That you is not like Smallville. It, it's very true, yeah. Yeah. He always told me not to walk away from something just because it's a challenge. And now there's one more thing. This is a once in a lifetime experience. Have a great time. Future Met You Hall of Famer? Hey, Chris. Hey. Coach Calloway wanted to surprise Clark. Send a local boy to pick him up. You want to go see the coach quickly? Sure. <laughs> Look at his smile. He's so excited. The guy that you put in the hospital? Jeff's roommate. I swear to God, all I did was knock the wind out yeah. of him. Yeah. I paralyzed him. Facts. Sure. True. I'm actually kind of surprised that you took the football route. I don't know. It just seems like you have kind of an unfair advantage. Yeah, he does. What do you mean? Well, it's just you have one of these truly amazing talents. <laughs> um, you know, on the field. Tread carefully. Some people are better than others. I guess I just don't understand as much as I thought I did. About football. Right. Okay. She's acting kind of weird. Okay. I'm not going to work for somebody whose mission it is to break me and my girlfriend down. Fair. My only concern is Lana's welfare. Uh-huh, sure. What exactly is it that you want me to do? Two women in your life are somehow intimately connected to Margaret Isabel Thoreau. I want you to find out everything they know. Damn, Lois. What the hell happened to him? It seems pretty excessive to recruit somebody. You've always met you and you're gonna win a national championship. Sounds good to me. 
What is happening? See, <laughs> they're like pimping themselves out to recruit somebody. This doesn't seem right. <laughs> what is it? Are they like about to like have a threesome or something? What? What? <laughs> oh my god. Shove her back in the closet. Chris, what are we doing? It was you. You, you're letting Lois take the fall. Yeah. Damn it, Chris. <gasps> what are you doing? You're now a murderer. You know, Coop was going to the newspaper about something involving the football team. Lois, I don't think this is the best time. And when would be the best time, Clark? When I'm on the chain gang? Yeah, she's now on trial for like murder or something. There you go. That's the word I was looking for. Cool. Being a bulldog is a dream come true, but you're in the pressure cooker now. All they want is a winner. It takes a toll on you. I told you, never come to me. I come to you. Yeah, you're doing this at a wake in front of all these people? Like, do this somewhere else. Okay, now Clark's seeing it. He's catching on. I think Jeff Jones paralyzed Coop. Yep. He's passing his physicals by using another student's urine samples. And the linebackers, they always say when they get stiff armed by Jeff Jones, they don't know what hit them. They go down to the turf every time. Think he has a meteor power. Using your powers on the field to cheat, it, it's pathetic, but it's not paralyzing someone. What if he can control the intensity? What if he stuns someone? Nobody outside the Smallville city limits is going to believe the Bulldog superstar has superhuman powers. Yeah, that's true. Do you know where a person can get some clean number one around here? Clean number, really? And no one is seeing this right now? Okay, come on, Chloe, figure it out. Chloe! Chloe! She went right by you! God damn it. Find the glasses. She find the glasses? Yeah. Okay, well, there's something at least. <laughs> yep, that's exactly what he's gonna do. I'm so sorry. I, I didn't mean to hurt you. Then stop doing what you're doing. You don't have to do this, buddy. You know, that was a pretty quick end, Clark. Oh, uh, I heard he's <laughs> just like. It all makes sense now. It's all coming together. Yo, yeah, that's not gonna work on him. Just tell him or he's gonna kill you. There you go. Clark, get there. Oh my god. Like, and obviously he's gonna be fine, but shit. Super speed, my dude. Super speed. What are we doing? At least he's alive. I mean, we knew that. If I take this football scholarship, I'm gonna be in the same situation as Jeff. Yep. I'm gonna have to lie on every physical. Rig every test. Mm-hmm. Probably why you shouldn't go to college to do it. So I've decided to give up football. Oh man. With this decision you made, it shows integrity well beyond your years. Yeah. This photograph of Jason and his mother was taken in Paris the day before he met you. Genevieve Teague has been researching the Countess before Jason was born. Jason's been aware of the Countess since he was a child. How well do you really know Jason Teague? Apparently not as well as she thinks she does. Damn it, Jason. You should think about putting up a door or something. Know, <laughs> right? Where I come from, we like to have a little privacy. But anybody, everybody just walks well, in here anyway. I'd be relieved to hear your voice. <laughs> Out of the university. What, Lois? Yeah. Oh, I was, but still busted for the booze, and well, that wasn't the first time I've been invited to the disciplinary boards came for report. Ouch. Why am I not surprised? <laughs> right? Heading <laughs> back to the barracks? Not an option. My dad's trying out the tough love approach with an emphasis on tough. If you want, I guess you can stay with us. You're a lifesaver. <laughs> 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 uh, you just got Lois. You just got Lois. 
Oh my god, the Lois is staying! She's here! She's staying in Smallville! Yay! Well, I'm not going to meet you. What happened? I mean, you can still go, you just don't get the scholarship. I turned down my scholarship. No, I'm just not sure the football's my calling. Careful, Chloe. Aww. Why? I just have a feeling that you're destined to do a lot more in this world than just more touchdowns. Oh, you've been seeing a lot of Yeah, <laughs> yeah, right? What makes you think I'm destined to do anything? Just a hunch. Just a hunch. Ah! There we go. Uh, we're done with football. All right, well, that was Recruit. Let's go ahead and we'll talk about it. Well, that was the 13th episode of the fourth season of Smallville Recruit. Um, I thought it was a decent episode. We got to change it up a little bit and we went to Metropolis where, you know, Clark is being recruited and uh, they had very weird ways to recruit him. And I thought they went above and beyond what anybody in their right mind would do just because all of that that they did like in the stadium to get him to go there um i feel like you would have to be a lot more discreet when you are recruiting when it comes to college football and then on top of that the girls in the sorority were basically pimping themselves out <laughs> to recruit him i'm like mm, i don't think that that's what happens when people are trying to recruit somebody uh i think it's a little bit too far but it's weird like how is the sorority connected to the football team like I can understand maybe the cheerleaders, sure, but it was weird that they went the sorority. Maybe, maybe I'm just thinking about this too hard, but I don't know. I thought that was weird. Um, of course, Chris Carmack, I think his name is, uh, looks very young here, but, uh, you know, he was basically like, I guess Clark before Clark was there um at smallville high and then um now he's feeling the pressure of you know college um of football and so basically he uses his powers he has powers to like paralyze people i guess and basically he's using it to prevent people from talking um about his powers so that people know because if he does that, he's done with football and he's definitely feeling the pressure of college football and being in the spotlight, which of course, you know, Clark obviously can relate to because he has all of these powers as well. And so he's going to be under the pressure cooker. He's going to be under the microscope. He's the one that's going to have to really go through all the drug testing and everything. He's going to have to really go out of his way to keep his secret and obviously that's probably not the best thing to do uh, for him and everything else. But because of, you know, Chris's powers, it put this guy who tried to, like, hit on Lois, even though, like, she kicked the shit out of him. Like, she didn't hit him hard enough to paralyze him. But basically because of that, that she's now under the microscope to, uh, she's went to jail and was on trial for basically manslaughter if... They didn't figure this out. So, of course, at the end, she's figured it all out. And and Chris goes all crazy and, like, paralyzes her and, like, tries to, like, dump her in a sewer. Like, this is crazy. Like, you are, oh, wow. You're going crazy. But I did, like, you know, at the end when, when Clark is, like, getting her out of the water, you know, the music swells and everything else. And, you know, it's a very classic Clark saving Lois sort of scene and I thought that was really fun and awesome to see on this show um yeah but of course in the end he ends up turning down a scholarship which which we all know he was, he should do and you know he's probably going to do anyway so that kind of wraps up the whole football storyline which is really sad because I love football but it was the right thing to do and we can move on to more Superman-esque storylines, especially with um, the stones and everything else that they're trying to find, that the Teagues are trying to find, Lex is trying to find, Clark is trying to find, and Lex is also giving Lana seeds of doubt that Jason knows a lot more than what he's um, saying and that somehow it was set up for them to meet. I feel like they're retconning Jason's character right now in the middle because he seemed like just her, her goofy boyfriend who comes to coach football and now all of a sudden he and his mom are looking for the stones and already knew about Isabel Thoreau and it was just like whoa 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 like I 
wasn't expecting this. Um, I think they're definitely like trying to figure out what to do with this character, and they don't know what to do. So I guess we'll turn him into a mystery and see what's going on there. So of course, one of Lana's boyfriends would not be a good guy, but have lots of secrets. Surprise, surprise. Um, like I said, oh, and of course, Chloe is really dropping a lot of hints now that she knows. It's like, Clark, pick it up, pick it up. Especially she's like, I feel like you're destined to do, you know, things much more than, um, you know, throw a football and talking about how, you know, you have all these talents. I didn't know, I didn't think you'd go the football route and all this stuff. So pick it up. Come, come on, she's being kind of obvious that she knows. But it feels, she's probably just like, huh. I get it now. He has super speed and, and all these things. Just like, I get it. Now I understand why every time I turn around, he is gone. <laughs> um, so I like this. I like this dynamic that they're bringing into the show now. This little twist that Chloe knows, but Clark doesn't know that she knows. And she's trying to like give him hints that, yes, I do know. I, I think that's a fun twist and just a little different spin on these characters and their friendship. So it was fun to watch. Um, I thought it was a decent episode. I think it was a great episode. I thought it was a good conclusion to the whole football storyline. And of course, when you get Lois in majority of the episode, that is always a plus. So I'm going to give it, it was okay. Like I'll give it a 7.5 to be honest. I didn't think it was great. Um, but it was a decent episode. Um, in terms of the tally board, we have a plus one for hospital visits. So we are at 60 already, and we are halfway through the four season. Wow, they're definitely getting their minds worth off that set. Uh, we also have the pseudo suit with the blue shirt and red jackets, and so now we are 18 for that. And a plus one for under the bridge, because when they get to the stadium, you see them drive whoop, under the bridge. Um, so now we are at four for that. So if you want to see my full reaction to this episode or any of the other episodes, head on over to my Patreon page. The link is in the description or hang out right here on YouTube. Just be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you for the next video.